Lizzo gets emotional after finding out Kamala Harris is projected to be the next U.S. Vice President. <clears throat> there are a few times in this country where I'm hopeful. I feel like every time I'm hopeful, it gets taken away from me. And this time I was hopeful and I was scared. And I think Trump is out of office. Officially. I'm seeing the news everywhere. I think this is the end of that four year term that felt like a thousand years where people lost their lives, their livelihoods. This country fell into a pandemic, a recession. And <clears throat> you can't really blame one president for things, but you can blame them for how they handle it. And it was so mishandled. And I felt so unseen and so neglected. Whether you're blue or red, that man didn't care about you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm so excited to see a black woman in the White House, a brown woman in the White House, Indian American woman in the White House. And I'm so ready to see if America can hold itself accountable. If we can go into a new era where people are listened to and fundamental changes can happen so that we can all live here equally. This white supremacy that runs rampant cannot be tolerated anymore. We not gonna tolerate y'all no more. We not putting up with that no more. Everybody, we're all in this together, bro. So chill the fuck out. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm hopeful, and I'm happy, and I'm proud of the patience that we all had. I'm proud of the voter, I'm proud of the protester, the marchers. <clears throat> this is not the end. This is literally the beginning of progress and holding these people accountable. But now we get to hold people accountable who listen and can hopefully bring some actual change. Everyone's celebrating out there and I hope y'all are celebrating too. It's a beautiful day. God bless y'all, I love y'all. And let's get to work, America. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.